So in this office, uh, I've become kind of the office handyman. I do a lot of the stuff out in the uh, open bay, in the operatories, replacing hoses, fixing water lines that are stuck, buttons, that sort of stuff. Uh, things that are falling apart, I fix that. That goes off uh, out there, but also goes in here. So today, I'm going to be working on this uh, buffalo hand piece. Um, up in here, this section is a lot of bearings and such. And I think one of the bearings is either going out or uh, needs to be greased. I know that the stuff in here really isn't serviceable. At least that's what the dealer tells you, but that's not true. You can get in there, you can clean these, you can grease these things. Depending on what's wrong with them, you can fix these and not have to send them away and spend 100, 150 bucks to have them repaired. So the first thing I want to do is plug this thing in. I don't want you guys to hear it, hear what it sounds like and then we can kind of compare uh, afterwards to see if we've actually improved um, this handpiece. So let's plug it in and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're over at our uh, Buffalo uh, dental manufacturing unit here. My grinding station is right here. And um, so we've got the burr plugged in. This is it right here. You have to have a burr in there. But let's, um, if you guys can hear that, I'm not quite sure. You may be able to hear it way down here, but up here you can actually kind of feel it as well. But it shouldn't sound like that. So we're going to take this thing apart and let's get in there and try to fix it. Thing apart. Some of the things we need obviously is the handpiece. We have a few Q-tips over here. Um, we've got some just old dental tools that, uh, that I've been given by the practice, a toothbrush and here we actually have some grease so that's what we're going to repack those bearings with uh, depending on if they're not too deteriorated so let's just take this thing apart basically you twist it and that pops out right there now you gotta be careful there's some bits and pieces in here that'll actually fall out but we don't need any of those so we'll actually put this off to the side and then basically we're only going to be dealing with this section right here. So in reality, I should push that. We're going to be dealing with this section, so we really don't need this either. Nor do we need the spring. There's this little section right here that we don't need. But what we need to do is make sure that this goes back together the way that it came apart. So in here, you can actually see there's like dust and stuff that gets down inside here. This this piece here, the top that actually goes into, you can see there's some dust down inside there and that's what happens with these hand pieces. Um, there's dust right here. So we can clean that later. But we're really focused on this right here. So we're gonna clean off as much dust as we can just with our toothbrush. So, so now we gotta get these bearings off and what that entails there's a c-clip right here that we need to remove so we're gonna slowly get that out now this is kind of a pain in the behind because there's a groove that it fits in you gotta get it past that groove there you are and when you're taking this off you want to be uh, you want to do it kind of uniform. If you look at it, you can kind of see it start coming up. You want to do it uniform. You don't want to pull one side completely up and not the other side, or you'll actually torque that clip. And bend it, and then it won't fit anymore. And then you got to call Buffalo and say, hey, send me another piece. So that's what it looks like. So we'll put that off to the side, and then as we take this, we'll take this apart, but we'll also, same thing, we'll put it back together like normal, and look at, look at inside there, all that, um, all that stuff. So we'll have to clean that as well. You can see that that's pretty gross. So now, 
So this is what we're looking at. So there's another little, little tiny washer. We'll put that the way that it came off. And then here's your bearings. So let's put that down. Let's see if we can feel which bearing. You can kind of roll that. You can feel it. I mean, you can see that it's also kind of loose that way. So the bearings may be starting to wear because there's no grease in there or there's actually stuff inside there. But we're going to take that apart. And then you have another bearing. You have this. And we'll put that back the way that it goes on. And we have a bearing down here as well. And that one actually feels... That one feels that actually has no... If you wiggle it back and forth this way, you can feel and there's like very, very little movement. Where I think this one... Let's put that one back on there. Yeah, that one has a lot. I can feel it. Anyway, so let's start with this bearing here. Let's take this sucker apart and see if we can figure out if a bearing's blown in there or what. Okay. So if you talk to the manufacturer, they'll say these bearings are not serviceable. And in reality, a normal individual wouldn't service them but that's my nature to try to figure out how things work and if I can make them better if I can fix them without having to spend money to fix them not that I'm cheap I just really enjoy taking things apart so inside of here there's another little it's a little keeper wire and we need to get that out so we can get this cover off and see what's happening in there so same thing with this you lose this and your SOL oh, so there you go <clears throat> you can kind of see that little there it is right there that little keeper wire same thing it's just like a little tiny I mean and it's like tiny tiny so let's put that off the side so we don't lose it and then that goes where we can actually take this section out. We may have to turn it upside down and shake it to see. Okay, so it took a little off time camera to actually get that um, little section out, but it's again, here's what it looks like. Just a little race cover. You actually see down inside there, you can see those those ball bearings down in there. And they're actually set inside of a, uh, a plastic ball keeper. Um, but they turn around. So as I move them around in there, I can feel that there's, that it's kind of grainy. And um, so we're gonna try to figure out if we can get those actually out of there and keep them inside the race and clean everything and re-grease it or do we have to send it back to the manufacturer so let's let's uh, let's take some time and try so there's the other side we will be able to at least it'll give us an opportunity to clean it and you can um, get that in focus you gotta see them down in there so let's uh, let's take this to the cleaner and clean it okay so very carefully um, I use some uh, grease dissolver um, to uh, get a lot of that grease and, and crap that's uh, that was in there and very gently with some compressed air I blew out um, and rinsed off those bearings so now they're clean they're dry and we're gonna add 
some grease back in there. So we're going to use these Q-tips here. Some grease. And we're going to pack it. This is very similar to packing uh, the bearings on a car. Just on a really, really small scale. So this grease will obviously lubricate it, but kind of keep it cool, keep everything tight, so you don't have that grinding noise. And of course, obviously cleaning it got all a lot of that junk that was in there. None of the bearings actually looked like they had disintegrated or had any pits in them. I mean, it's really hard to see because they're so small, but using the tools I have, I didn't see anything. So the other side actually has the bottom of the bearing ball keeper, uh, the cage, I guess that's the technical term. So we're, we don't need very much down here, but you still do need some. Oh, got some on your pinky. I need to put these back on. So these, you really can't tell, but they're kind of, they're definitely shaped, they're not flat. You gotta make sure that the way that they came out is the exact same way that they go back in. And so they'll actually go in this way. Actually push that down. Now it's seated, and we'll do the same on the other side. Again, we'll look at it. Kind of see, make sure it goes the exact same way it came out. Okay, there we go. So now, we're going to get in the hard part of putting these little keeper wires back in and again these guys are tiny I mean just look how thin that is so you kind of put one side in and definitely hold it with your thumb so it doesn't go shooting off somewhere in your lab you'll never find it again Basically, you're kind of pinching it down to fit back underneath that little lip that's inside there. And that side is completely seated. Now, let's go to this other side. Hold one side with your thumb. Gotta get it in the in the groove first. Kind of work it around. And That is completely seated. There we go. So now, definitely before we put it back in the um, in the handpiece, we want to clean off any excess grease on the outside because that'll collect dust from your grinding station or anything you're working on, like a magnet. <laughs> Okay. 
there we go. So now that bearing, unserviceable bearing has been serviced. Uh, no, like I said, none of the bearings were shot. Um, I didn't see any corrosion uh, on the inside. So now it turns really nice. Um, I guess the only, the true test is putting it back into the handpiece and see how it works. So, all right, so everybody, everything has been cleaned. Let's put this guy back together. There you go. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Okay, so we're back over at our Buffalo unit here. We've got it plugged in and uh, let's listen to it. We'll see what that's turning there. Now there's still a little bit in there but it is definitely a lot better than it was before. So that may last another two or three, maybe four months of grinding uh, before we actually really have to send it into the manufacturer to have those bearings replaced and have a service on it. But I mean, two or three months more is uh, quite a bit when you're talking about a hundred bucks every time you send it in. So. And we send ours in average maybe twice a year. So um, I think that's a plus. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up.